Hello there. I thought today I'd take another look at um, stable diffusion and uh, in particular the X, Y, Z plot option which we have, uh, if I can find my cursor here. So under the script box down the bottom here, we've got the X, Y, Z plot and uh, we're going to take a look at that. And basically what that will do is allow us to generate um, multiple images, but as each image is being generated, um, it will change um, the configurations to whatever we've set it to do. So for instance, if I want to generate a number of images at differing sampling steps, say starting at 20, um, going up to 50, it will do that for me. Or if I wanted to see what an image would look like at different, differing CFG scales, um, it'll do that or different sampling methods. So um, that's what we're going to have a quick look at. So let's take, uh, before we do that, let's have a quick look at the basic image that we're going to use. Okay, so for our start point, um, I'm in the model uh, Realistic Vision 2.0 and I have just generated an image under text to image of a portrait of a Victorian 80s punk woman with red hair. Okay, so I've already generated that image. There's no point in running through that with yourselves. Um, I have all the configs I've left at default, so I've changed nothing other than I've added a prompt and I've generated this image. So let's take a look now at what we can do with the XYZ plot option. Okay, so as I said before, I'm going to come down to the script drop down box here, and I'm going to select the XYZ plot option. There we go. And some more boxes open up. I'll just scroll down the page, give us a bit of a clearer view. Um, basically, we've got um, three fields here that we can choose um, settings that we wish to um, see adjusting values. So we've got the X type, the Y type and the Z type. So under the X type here, we've got drop down. And as we talked about steps earlier, let's let's look at what let's try to generate some images under differing steps. So let's find steps in the list. And there we go. So X type, we've selected steps and then we need to put in some values so it knows what steps we want to see. So I'm going to suggest that we look at 20 working its way up to 50 steps. So let's do 20 to 50. And then I'll just in brackets, open brackets, parentheses, call it we will. I'm going to put it in plus 10, close the bracket. And basically what that's saying there is, I want you to um, create the image at 20 steps, building up to 50 steps, uh, but going at increments of 10 steps. So we should, in theory, receive an output for 20 steps, 30, 40, and 50 steps. So I should get four results. The only other config I'm going to add at this moment is I'm going to tick these two boxes down below. And what that will do is that will provide these little boxes here um, that we can click on to um, if we want to look individually at, at the images. If you don't tick these boxes, you won't you won't have this here. So that's all we want to do now. So we've we're just going to generate the same prompt details as before, except that we're now asking it to rather than just give us the one image, we're asking it to give us four images, one at 20, 30, 40, and one at 50 steps. So let's uh, click on generate and see what we get. Okay, so we've got our images. That took um, just under a minute and a half on my computer, um, but it all comes down to how powerful your, your system is as to uh, how quickly it, uh, it will generate images for you. So we've um, got an output here. Um, just to re recap though, th these images, the only um, configuration we've changed is has been the um, step count. So these images that we see were all um, under uh, were all 
using the Euler A sampling method. Nothing else has changed other than the steps. And if I just left click on these images, um, we can see the quality that we would have got or do get if we um, execute this at 20 steps, 30, 40, and 50 steps. And we've got here the index at the top that tells us, so that's really quite helpful to, uh, to know. So let's get rid of this for the moment. So that's what it does. And we can, of course, we can look at the images individually if we want to. And um, yeah, so that's one thing that we can do. So let's now um, try and step up a little bit and add a, another value. So we on the X type, we did the steps. Let's look at the, um, let's try different sampling methods on the Y field. And have we got sampling? Oh, we've got sampler there. So when you select sampler, you'll see here a new box opens up. And if you click on that, that will give you the list of all the um, sampling methods that you've got on your system. So I am just, I'm just going to, to about, I don't know, four or five different samplers, otherwise we'll be here all day. So I'm just going to cut and paste in how many we've got there. One, two, three, four. So we've got five different sampling methods there. Um, so what we're going to do now, we're, we're going to generate again. So what we're going to get, I hope, if this works correctly, we will get um, the sampling steps shown at 20 running through to 50 steps. And then it will then generate each of the sampling methods. So starting with Euler, then going on to the DPM2, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And um, let's see what that does. So in, what this is really doing is saving us having to generate individual images over and over again, seeing what the difference makes if you change the steps or if you change the sampling methods. So, much easier way of doing this and we've got um three chances to do well not three chances but we've got the option to do this three times with the x y and the z so let's generate this now and see what we get next okay so we've got our result now that um that took about 15 minutes on my computer so let's have a quick look at the index page so if i left click on that it's a slightly better view of that so we can see that we've got the steps that were requested 20 through to 50 along the top and then coming down, we've got the different samplers that um, I put in and there was um, five of those. Um, and looking out the output, I think it stands out quite a bit that the Euler A seems to produce um, possibly the most variety in the images. Certainly the hair is, is slightly um, different to all of the other um, samplers and a bit more variety in some of their images. If we look down at the, um, the remaining samplers, they all seem pretty much the same. You're not getting much different. Other than, than the very bottom, we've got this Uni PC, which I've, uh, I've never used before. I've not seen anybody refer to it as a sampler in any of the images I've come across so far. Um, but that seems to put a bit more effort into giving us some um, different detail. So that looks quite good too. But the real benefit of this is, is having these sample sheets where we can view and compare images in, in one easy go. And that's really um, the usefulness of the XYZ plot tool. I think it's really, really helpful. Um, there are, I won't go into do, um, another one on the Z plot, but just to show you here, it's a list of, um, these are all the options that you can configure, um, and do exactly what we've just done, whether it be the CFG scale. Um, this one here, prompt SR is, um, prompt search and replace. And that's a really good one. I may do a a separate example of that but that basically if you go to your prompt up the top here and you pick a word any word you like 
in this case if we were to use woman and you can um put in the text so what you would do is think oh, okay where i've got a woman here i maybe let's let's put in man girl child dog whatever um and what you would do if i come down just to show you because i've mentioned it now um where's it gone the prompt sr so you would start off with the word that's in the prompt that you want to replace so we said woman and then you put in your options so we could say boy girl and we could we could run that and there you go so that's that's an, that's another useful one as well but uh, i might play with that on a different occasion so yeah so basically that's it um what we did was just to recap i generated an image just from a prompt in text to image and i then generated one picture we then came down to um the script box and i selected the xyz plot option and that gives me three fields that i can work with the x the y and the z type and we put under the x type 20 to 50 steps at an increment of 10 steps and we generated that had a quick look at that and then we did the same we've kept the steps and then we said but we'd also like to look at um, five different samplers and we got this result here that we saw and um, and of course all these images that you you um, generate using the xyz plot they will all be in your output folder so you can um, pull any of those into um, your stable diffusion if you want to so yeah so I think that's pretty much as much as I want to say and uh, hope you found this useful and uh, thank you for your time and goodbye